from massive mountains and weird structures to locations so bizarre they could have been photoshopped. Here are 21 epic geological formations. Number 21, Arches National Park. More than 2,000 natural sandstone arches can be found at this national park in Utah, so its name is not just a coincidence. Since the 1970s, more than 40 arches have fallen due to the effects of erosion. But don't worry, there's still plenty of amazing arches to be seen. Some of the better known sites include Balanced Rock. It's a rock about the size of three school buses. The Double Arch, which are two arches that share the same end. and Delegate Arch, which is not only the most recognizable arch in the park, but is well known around the world as well. Number 20, Jeta Grotto. This refers to a system of two separate limestone caves that run for more than five and a half miles and interconnect. Located around 11 miles north of Beirut, the cave is thought to have been inhabited during prehistoric times. Because the cave channels an underground river that supplies fresh water to Lebanon, the area can only be accessed by boat. The grotto is not only a top tourist destination, Destination. It's also considered a national symbol of Lebanon. Number 19, Skafatfel. This area was once a national park unto itself, but after 2008, it was absorbed into a larger national park in southeast Iceland. Open all year round, it's known for a mild and pleasant climate and many people think the terrain is reminiscent of the Alps. Over thousands of years, the striking landscape was carved out by glaciers and volcanoes erupting under the ice caps. A key site is the waterfall known as the Black Falls, so named for the black columns of basalt that stand behind it. Number 18, Mono Lake. This area is found in Eastern California's Mono County near Yosemite National Park. Mono Lake itself covers about 65 square miles and is shallow with no outlet to the ocean. The lack of such has allowed a high level of salt to develop in the water, making the lake alkaline. While no fish exists in the water, brine shrimp do, and that provides the basis for an unusual ecosystem which allows millions of migratory birds to feed on the shrimp. The Tufa Towers are strange limestone formations composed of the alkaline lake water and freshwater springs. Number 17, Bebele. In Romanian, that name means old women. It refers to an area of a plateau located in the Busech Mountains. The name was inspired by the mushroom shape of the rock formations that were created due to erosion of the rock layers over time. Babele is one of the most popular tourist destinations in Romania and can be accessed by road or cable car. Located in the same area is a rock formation called the Sphinx, so named for its resemblance to the mythical creature. Number 16, Pancake Rocks or Punakaiki. Now in a small community of New Zealand South Island, that's where you find the pancake rocks and blowholes. The popular tourist attraction is comprised of an area that contains heavily eroded limestone. During high tide, the sea will crash through several vertical blowholes situated there. Over time, the pressure on alternating hard and soft layers of sea creatures and plant life formed the pancake layering of the limestone. Visitors can explore the rock formations along various winding walkways located there. Number 15, Moroccan boulders. Many people have mistaken these formations for man-made objects, but the large spheres are a naturally occurring phenomenon and they're found scattered along New Zealand's Koeki Beach. Experts think the stones likely started off as small pieces of wood or a fossil shell. Similar to the way a pearl forms within an oyster, the materials accumulated with lime from the sea, and after time, the process resulted in a nearly perfectly round shape. Did you know that some of the boulders can reach some 9 feet in diameter? Number 14, Chiricahua National Monument. Southeast Arizona is known for its incredible land formations, and this national monument has some amazing examples. Among the most breathtaking is the big balanced rock, which seems so precariously balanced that it looks like it could tip over at any moment. Along with the rock formations, you'll find stone columns known as hoodoos, which are the most common formations found there. Number 13, Stone Forest, China. Located in China's Yunnan province, this amazing set of limestone formations seems to resemble petrified trees rising from the ground. That has created an illusion that inspired the name Stone Forest. Experts think the area contained a shallow sea hundreds of millions of years ago, and as the waters withdrew, the limestone pillars were shaped by the forces of wind and running water. Eventually, these formations, resembling a forest of stone, extended for as far as the eye could see. Number 12, Socotra Island. This remote island is part of Yemen, 
and around six million years ago, it became separated from the African mainland. Maybe that isolation helps account for it sometimes being described as the most alien-looking place on Earth. For sure, some of the plant life does look like it belongs in Middle Earth or some other sci-fi fantasy. In particular, the dragon's blood tree with its weird umbrella shape has a red sap that was once thought to be blood. Experts consider Socotra to be an unparalleled example of biodiversity within the Arabian Sea. Number 11. Manpupuna Rock Formations Also known as the Seven Giants, these massive stone pillars can be found in the Ural Mountains facing west. Over the course of ages, snow and ice helped create the impressive formations, but there's a legend that is associated with the Seven Giants that is more entertaining than scientific fact. The legend describes how a race of giants called the Samoyed people were sent to destroy the Mansi people, but that group shaman transformed the giants into those massive stone pillars. Number 10. The Stone Desert Did you know there is a single desert located in Bulgaria? It's known as Pobiti Kamani, and some have even described it as a bleached out forest or the ruins of buildings. But it does qualify as a desert, and it comes complete with sand dunes and various critters that thrive only in deserts. Perhaps its most distinguishing feature is the collection of stone columns, some of which can extend more than 20 feet. Now, curiously, the formations are hollow and filled with sand, kind of like someone stuck huge stone straws into the land there. Experts still do not have a definitive explanation for that phenomenon. Number 9. Giant's Causeway This location in Northern Ireland is notable for its columns of basalt. All told, there are an estimated 40,000 columns of basalt that interlock, the tallest of which can rise nearly 40 feet. In some places, the solidified lava is more than 90 feet thick. Experts say that ancient volcanic activity caused the unique formations to be created. That's the scientific explanation for the causeway. A more colorful explanation is offered by legend. According to such, the causeway was built by a giant, and the columns are all that remain of his work. Number 8. Fairy Chimneys When a volcano erupted in Turkey thousands of years ago, lava and ash combined to form soft rocks that covered around 20,000 kilometers in the Cappadocia region. The distinctive fairy chimneys were formed when wind and water eroded softer rock but left caps of hard rock on top of the pillars. It kind of gives the terrain a storybook quality. Locals in the heart of that region, or Gorem, found that it was easy to carve out houses, churches, and monasteries from the soft rock. Many examples of Byzantine art are contained in the Christian sanctuaries. In particular, colorful frescoes of the period are now considered to be great artistic achievements. Number 7. Sailor de Ayuni, Bolivia One of the flattest locations in the world can be found at this location in Bolivia. It's recognized as being one of the world's largest salt flats, covering more than 4,000 square miles. That is pretty impressive. But when a thin layer of water covers the salt flats during the rainy season, that results in a spectacular optical illusion. An incredible mirror image is created where the sky is reflected off the water. In certain pictures, it can appear like the subject is actually walking on the water. Number six, Devil's Tower. If you remember the movie Close Encounters of the Third Kind, you might recall that this national monument had a prominent co-starring role. In fact, the movie's popularity spurred a sudden increase in tourism to the area in northeastern Wyoming. Rising some 1,267 feet, Devil's Tower is a butte in the Bear Lodge Mountains that attracts 400,000 visitors each year, and about 1% of that number climb the tower using traditional climbing techniques. Number 5. Wave Rock Found in Western Australia, this well-known landmark is a granite cliff that stands over 45 feet tall and extends around 360 feet long. The formation's unique curvature is attributed to water erosion that took place over many ages. And it is amazing how it does resemble a stone wave about to crash over you. Now, if you want to catch the wave, so to speak, you'll need to visit a 395-acre nature reserve called Hayden Wildlife Park. More than 140,000 tourists make it there each year. Number four, Cave of the Crystals. Some of the largest natural crystals ever discovered lie around a thousand feet underground in the caves at Nica, Chihuahua, Mexico. Formed in temperatures that can 
can exceed 120 degrees Fahrenheit. Experts say they developed in water rich in minerals over the course of a half million years. The largest crystal found there so far is around 39 feet long, 13 feet in diameter, and weighs a staggering 55 tons. The hidden caves were actually drained more than 40 years ago, but additional caves and caverns have been found by miners in 2000 and 2009. With humidity levels reaching almost 100% and temperatures exceeding 130 degrees Fahrenheit, many of those caves remain largely unexplored. Number three, split apple rock. Hard to believe this is a naturally occurring formation, but it is. Located in New Zealand's Tasman Bay, the unusual granite structure has become a popular tourist attraction. It's still unknown exactly how or when that cleft in the rock happened, and that has invited a lot of explanations that involve mythological forces. What do you think? Number two, Flat Top Mountain. A tepui is identified as a tabletop or flat mountain and Mount Roraima serves as a prime example of such. Located at a triple border of Brazil, Venezuela, and Guyana, it majestically ascends over 9,200 feet and is the highest such formation in the region. At an estimated age of around 2 billion years old, experts say it's also one of the most ancient geological formations on the planet. Sir Walter Raleigh first described the majestic site during an expedition in the 16th century, but indigenous peoples of the region considered Roraima to be sacred long before that. The mountain's significance is enhanced due to its central role in local legends and mythology. Number one, the Rishat structure. It's also known as the Eye of the Sahara, and it's a geological formation that is not quite so apparent from the ground level. But its immensity comes better into focus when it's viewed from above way above. The structure covers some 25 miles across and is so easy to see from space that NASA uses it as a kind of landmark for the space missions. Experts can agree on its location, that it's in Mauritania's Western Sahara Desert, but what experts cannot seem to agree on, 100% anyway, is exactly what this structure is. Given the formation's concentric rings and spherical shape, it could be the result of a volcanic eruption, or it could be the remnants of an impact crater left by asteroids slamming into the earth, or maybe it's a geodesic dome that eroded over the ages. While various sources do agree that a reasonable estimate for its age would be around 100 million years old, the Rishat structure still remains a mystery.